Presets exist throughout Photoshop, and they're a really great way to break out of a creative rut. You can apply a preset and dramatically change the look of your image. Where they're even more useful, though, is saving presets to use on your own follow-up images. They can be huge time savers. So let's look at a few different ways to employ presets into your workflow. So here we are in Bridge, and the first place I want to talk about presets is in Camera Raw. And I don't have a RAW file, I have a TIFF. So let's look at how we're going to open that TIFF in Camera Raw. I'm going to come over here to my Camera Raw preferences, and I'm just going to tell it to automatically open all supported JPEGs and TIFFs. That way I can enjoy the benefits of Camera Raw without having to use a native RAW file. Now, within Camera Raw, we've got all sorts of sliders, which means there's all sorts of adjustments we can make, but it's a lot to remember if we want to replicate a particular look. So if I get this image, looking the way I like it, what I want to do is come over here and save a preset. That way in the future, let's just hit Option or Alt to reset this. If I come in and I want to apply that look, I can just click on my preset. And you can see I've got all sorts of different presets that are really great ways to visualize changes. Now, I've created all of these myself really doesn't take long to do this. Just the next time you come through Camera Raw, take the time to save out your presets. Again, I'm going to reset this by hitting the Option or Alt key. And we're going to open this image directly into Photoshop unchanged. So let's talk about presets in Photoshop. They're all over the place. I just want to show you a few different ways to use them. There's a ton of preset content available within Photoshop. We'll find it throughout our different adjustment types. We want to make sure that we're using adjustment layers, though, so that we can turn things off or on and play around with our blend modes. So if we come in here to Curves, I can see that I've got all of my common adjustments, like contrast, but I've even got special effects like cross-processing. Now, if I choose, I can turn this off or on. So a couple more that I really like, one of them is Photo Filter. Photoshop doesn't know what warming or cooling doesn't know anything about temperature, really. But I can fake it here with these filters. I've got a whole bunch of different photo filters. And if I want to cool this or warm it, I can get a really nice result quickly. Where this gets even more powerful is if I use my blend modes. So if I come in and I multiply that and then pull the opacity down, if we toggle that preview, we can see that we've dramatically changed our image just by using a preset and a little bit of a control. Now, that's a still image. Again, there's lots of content throughout Photoshop for still images. Let's look at using it for video, because the workflow is almost exactly the same. So here in Bridge, I see that I've got a video clip. And I'm just going to grab that and open it in Photoshop. I'll get this timeline that shows me that there's video here. If I press the space bar, indeed, there's motion. Now, I can do any of the things that I did with the still image. I just want to convert this to a smart filter first. And that's going to put a wrapper around my image so that anything that's done to one image, one frame in my video, is applied to the entire thing. So let's say we want to make this black and white. And we want to use auto. And maybe I want to use my on image control to make this part a little bit lighter and this part a little bit darker. And let's just add a tint as well. And then let's change the color of that tint. We've done a whole bunch of things to our video, starting with a preset. Now, I really like the effect I have, so I want to make sure that I save that. If I come up here, I can save myself a ton of time by saving that black and white preset. And I can do that with most of those other presets as well. So whether you're using presets to get out of a creative rut or to save yourself a whole bunch of time, they're really an important part of your workflow. And again, I've just shown you a few. They exist throughout the application.